A Toronto volunteer is headed to an isolated and struggling northern community in hopes of affecting positive change through dance. There's not a lot of joy. Yeah. But hopefully something like this um, sort of leads everybody to believe um, that there is more joy to be had. Pekanjikum is an Ojibwe First Nation located 500 kilometers northwest of Thunder Bay. It has a population of about 2,500, extremely isolated. 80% of homes have no indoor plumbing. It's plagued by addiction, poor education and health. The community has the highest suicide rate in the world. In times of challenge and trauma, uh, one of the things that people tend to do, humans tend to do, is go inside. Sarah Robichaud is a dancer. When her partner, Michael Ouellette, who is a doctor and has worked in Pekanjikum for four years, told her that people there seemed unable to communicate with each other, she thought maybe she could help. I was really intrigued to to sort of figure out if dance could could be something that motivated people to connect more and express what they were feeling. Sarah connected with the local high school and arranged a series of creative workshops that encouraged the youth to tell their own stories through dance. The first one was last month and she was amazed at what was accomplished in even a few days. Kids who couldn't really say their name louder than a whisper without looking like it was, you know, one of the hardest things that they ever had done in their life right. are now expressing very deep and um, relevant and personal uh, stories through dance. They are creating this beautiful, beautiful piece of art. City News viewers have met Sarah Robichaux in her capacity as founder of the charity Dancing with Parkinson's. Sarah says people with Parkinson's disease also have difficulty communicating and expressing themselves, which she says is similar to the youth of Pekanjikum. Dance has given both of those groups uh, a beautiful way to express themselves and to connect. Sarah is going back up north today for the next round of workshops with her baby and partner, who says he is in awe of what Sarah has accomplished. Her ability and the, the, the program's ability to connect with people, I've never seen it before in a decade, like so quick and so dramatic. The project will culminate next month when the dance is completed and performed for the community.